Welcome to the Dog Advisory Council, a trusted resource for dog owners and enthusiasts. Today we will be talking about how many eyelids do dogs have and how useful eyelids are for dogs. All dogs actually have three eyelids. They have the upper and lower lids like humans do, complete with eyelashes, and then they have thin, inner membranes that are their third eyelid. It is set inside the other eyelids. Sometimes you can see the third eyelid if you look really carefully, but you most often won't. Dogs have eyelids for the same reasons that we humans do, protection. Eyelids protect our eyes, and a dog's needs are a little different than ours, evolutionarily speaking, so they have three. Eyelids work by closing and opening over the eye, the insides of eyelids are lubricated, and the lids will close, replenish the lubrication and then open again. If there is debris on the eye, extra lubrication will come to the area and help you blink it away. Also known as the nictitating membrane or haw, your dog's third eyelid sits on the inside corner of their eye and will close over the eye in a translucent covering when it's needed. Think of it as a see-through eyelid. Since dogs in the wild spend their time hunting lightning-fast prey, the time it takes for them to blink their outer lids would lose them their supper. This is where their translucent eyelid comes into play. Sometimes we can see it sitting in the corner of the eye. But, you are most likely to see it if your dog is falling asleep and their eyes are starting to close. Or, when they are struggling to wake up or stay awake. It'll often appear that their eyes are all white, though it does depend on the dog too. A third eyelid is permanent. While it is common to see a puppy born with a third eyelid, they'll grow into their eyelids and it'll soon go from a large covering over the side of their eye to a corner detail that you may not even be able to see. When a puppy is in its first few weeks, that eyelid may be showing in a really obvious way. More often than not though, it's just a pup who hasn't figured out how to retract this eyelid yet. Since dogs have three eyelids per eye to take care of, there are more possible complications to know about with that third eyelid. The main potential problems could be Entropion This is a fancy term for when a dog's eyelid rolls inward on itself. This is common with golden retrievers, for example. It just means that the edge of the eyelid has gotten caught on a dry patch of the eye and the outer part of it rolled over the edge, trapping it rolled in. This is often resolved by your dog rubbing his eye with his paw to work it out. It often looks like the edge of his eye is rounded out and it may be a bit red with some discharge. This is relatively common and should resolve itself. If you notice it happening a lot though, you may want to talk to your vet about it. Blepharitis. This is when the eyelid itself gets inflamed and it can be very red and itchy for your dog. Usually, the membrane is irritated because it's got some debris trapped in it, and this causes it to swell up a bit. It's often a sign of an allergy in your dog. Sometimes it can even get infected, which means you'll see colored discharge in it, too. Since it's itchy and uncomfortable, you'll notice your dog picking at it a bit more. If you notice it happening a lot, you'll want to talk to your vet about it. Allergic conjunctivitis. Just like in humans, pink eye is when the membrane on the inside of the eyelid gets infected. It often will itch and will be weeping with a yellow color. Pink eye is contagious between dogs just like humans too, so be careful if you have more than one dog at home. This often will pass with time, though you can check with the vet if you want to make sure. Heat compresses are often great, and sometimes antibiotics are helpful, too. Cherry eye. This is the most common issue with most dogs. Cherry eye is when the tear duct gets infected or blocked and a red growth appears within the third eyelid spot. You'll want to get a vet involved if you notice this swelling happening in your dog's eye. You shouldn't really be able to see a dog's third eyelid in most cases unless you're looking specifically for it. But, sometimes you will be able to see it even at a distance. This could mean a few things. Your dog is happy. Your dog is sick. Your dog is tired or half asleep. When your dog is happy, he'll relax, and this includes his third eyelid. It'll close over the eye as he enjoys your awesome ear scratches or cuddles. His furry eyelids will often follow suit if he gets really into it. While it may freak you out at first since it looks like zombie eyes, it's harmless and a sign of great love. If you can see the third eyelid and it looks wrong, this is a sign that he is sick. It could be one of the above-mentioned illnesses, or it could be something like an overdose on a medication that he is on. 
With both illness and potentially an overdose, you'll find other symptoms too. For instance, swelling or weeping in the eye, squinting, or discharge that is colored. If your dog is tired, either about to fall asleep or attempting to wake up when you call him, this is where you may also see him open his eyelids and his third membrane is still receding to the corner of his eyes. If you want to learn what happens if your dog's third eyelid won't retract and how to take care of dog eyelids, click the link in the description below. If the information in this video was useful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.